Hi guys, welcome to a Happy Place Festival. I'm Kim Hartwell. I'm a personal trainer, a movement coach, and a yoga teacher. I also run Rock and Soul Adventures, which is a rock climbing and yoga company. I'm an Invino ambassador, so I'm gonna be working a lot with them through their wellness campaign this year. So much like Invino, I believe that when my skin feels happy and healthy, I do on the inside too. For Invino, we use the therapeutic benefits of oats through all of their products that can nurture and balance our body from top to toe. And remember, you can use a hashtag wellness pioneers to see all the other funny Invino ambassadors have been up to as well. So I can't wait to take you through our happy flow today. We're gonna to be moving the body in lots of different and fun ways, really exploring movement. I really encourage you to have an open mind with this. No, no such thing as perfect movement. You're human, you're beautiful. Our bodies are amazing things. The best way they can develop is actually through play. So that's what a lot of the inspiration comes for in today's practice. We encourage you to just tap into that and just have some fun with it. Remember, if you're working with any injuries, you can always scale it back. And remember, nothing is perfect. There's no such thing as perfect movement. So don't worry if you're doing something slightly different to what I'm doing, all, all good. We're just exploring our beautiful bodies, seeing what they're capable of and having some fun whilst we do it and creating them good, good vibes. I'm so excited to just get on the mat, so let's go. Um, you're just gonna need a mat. Ideally, if you've got yoga block, you may need one, but you can always grab books. Otherwise, if you don't have them, don't worry. Let's get flowing, yay. <laughs> Today, we're actually gonna get started in a laying meditation. I know you guys are keen to get moving, so we won't be there for too long, don't worry. We're just gonna take a little moment in stillness whilst I take you through the theme of today's class. So come onto your mat, come onto your back, palms face towards the sky, and just lying down on your back, closing the eyes down, giving your body that chance to soften down to the mat. Perhaps you haven't had too much time for stillness today, so just allowing yourself to come onto your mat, come onto your back, and we're starting that laying meditation. And whilst you're there, I'm just gonna take you through the theme of today's class. So we already know it's happy flow. Amazing, there's actually something called happiness psychology and I love that so much. Thank you for a definition that I found by a positive psychologist called Ruben Kodam. And he said, a happy person is someone who experiences frequent positive emotions such as joy, interest, pride, and infrequent, though not absent negative emotions such as sadness, anxiety, and anger. It relates to life satisfaction, the appreciation of life and moments of pleasure, but overall it's to do with the positive experience of emotions. The really important thing I think he explained was that no one's Im immune to life stresses, so we're always constantly adapting, we're constantly changing and having challenges. It's all part of life, it's how we grow. And he actually says, the question is whether you view those moments of challenges as opposition, or maybe you use them as an area for opportunity and growth. So just tapping into that idea is a really strong thing. And there's a positive psychologist called Sean Aker, and he came up with this idea of the happiness advantage. And he explained that actually, we can only predict 10% of our future happiness through our external environment. So things like our jobs, our families, our homes, where we live. And so importantly, he said we actually have 90% of the ability to predict our happiness through our internal environment. So it's how the brain processes these things, how the mind works. And that actually leaves us in a very powerful position because we have so much ability to influence our minds and how they work. So we can tap into that internal environment to be able to start to influence that external environment, how we see the world. Just for a moment, just want you to tap into what makes you happy. What really makes your soul sing? When are you in your happy flow state? When you can't think about anything else in the world because you just are enjoying the moment and loving that. Just visualizing that just before we get moving in class. Okay, so from here, just start to wiggle your fingers and your toes and slowly roll your head from left to right. Reach your arms over your head, take a big stretch of your day, like a big Sunday morning stretch all the way down to the toes. Now, bring your knees towards your chest, yourself a big hug, and then eventually let's start to rock and roll forward and backwards on the spine, just warming up the vertebrae a little bit. Just one more time as you slowly rock backwards and forwards. Let's come into our child's pose to start off with. Knees wide apart, toes together, just reach the arms forward, and just softening here, just feel your hips sink down towards the heels, knees nice and wide. And you can just slowly start to feel your body softening down, the hips opening up a little here. And from here, just take a deep inhale through your nose. And a big sight out through your mouth, exhaling. One more time like that, deep inhale through the nose. And a big sight out through the mouth, exhaling. So nice, guys. Just feel how that breath creates a little bit more space in the body, perhaps a little bit in the mind too. We're gonna breathe in and out through the nose for the rest of the class. Just tapping into that breath whenever you can. Just allow us to come into the present moment, not necessarily thinking about what has been or what's to come, just being here in the now. 
Remember, you may just walk your hands to the right hand side of your mat. Left hand comes towards the right hand as you open up through the side of the spine. You should feel really nice. You're starting to breathe space all the way from the left fingertip down to the left hip. Drive the left hip down towards the heel. Breathing here. Now we start to walk ourselves to the opposite side of the mat. Opening through the side body again. So breathe all that space from the right fingertip down to the right hip. And using our breath to create space in that area. Super nice when we're sitting down for a little bit more, perhaps than normal at the moment. We do lots of beautiful anti-desking today. <laughs> Opening through the hips, building the back body. Come all the way back through center. Now come into all fours. So you walk your hands back in all fours, knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath your shoulders. You're just gonna take little circles here. So we circle one way. And then the other way, just starting to warm up the wrist a little bit before we start our practice. It's a super nice thing to do. And actually, super nice to close down your eyes here. Just check into your internal environment. Just turning down that external environment around us. Remember, that's our power. So we can harness it from the internal mindset. One way and the other way, you can butterfly the hands if that feels okay to do so. Just preparing the body for the weight we're gonna place on it in a moment. <laughs> and from here, you're gonna slowly work your way back through the center, back to all fours. Now, start to straighten through the legs. You're gonna come into your down dog. So fingers spread nice and wide, tailbone lifts towards the sky, bring your chest to your thighs, and just notice the straightness of your back here. So you can start to straighten the legs a little bit, but not in the compensation of losing that back body straightness. So just breathing here, remember chest to thighs, as you start to send energy down through your heels, just make sure you're not compensating by losing the arches of your feet. So you're really pushing through those big toe mounds. Full inhales from the nose and full exhales. Just using down dog as a nice resetting posture so you can always come back to this whenever you need to. Likewise, if yoga is a little bit newer to you, it's not gonna feel so much so restful as it will do eventually. So come into child's pose or sitting whenever you need to. When the next inhale comes, take your right leg to the sky. So you're in a three-legged dog. On the exhale, we're going to bring our right knee to your nose, dome the upper back. Now step the right foot between the hands. You can just use your hands to help it if you need to. As you take your left knee down to the ground, on your inhale, lift. So we're in a low lunge here. Ribs suck towards the spine, and I'm really tucking my pelvis underneath to really get inside the front body of the hips. Now, from here, you're gonna to start to take your right foot to the right-hand side of your mat, and then take your hands on the inside, so we're in a bit of a low lizard here. And from here, just walk your hands to the left-hand side of your mat, and you feel a nice opening through the hips. If you have blocks and feels too much, you can always have your hands on blocks here. And then we're gonna take a funky little movement to open up the front body, so just take your time to learn it. So on the inhale, take your right arm to the sky, and then you're gonna to start to lift the left arm, just place the right hand onto your left thigh, still tucking that pelvis under. Feel a nice opening down the front side of the body. We're gonna take that two more times just to get used to it. Exhale down, right hand, left hand. Inhale, lift, right hand, left hand lifts. And you take it completely at your own pace. Just move with your breath, exhaling down, and then inhaling to lift. So nice, guys. Let's come all the way back through to center. Now just walk your hands back into your lizard pose. Let's take our left knee off of the ground. Take your right leg back towards your plank position. So uh, shoulders in line with your hips. And from here, just release your knees to the ground. And then we take our chest and our chin all the way to the ground. So the elbows hugging tight. The inhale is a baby cobra. We're really thinking about the back line of the body here. So squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your bum. As you exhale back, come back to down dog. We breathe in our down dog. Again, just sending energy down through the back of the body. You can shake your head yes, no, release any tension here. Can feel super nice just to shake out through the hips and the knees a little bit. Just releasing anything you've got going on in the body. Let's take the other side whenever you're ready. Just take an inhale, left leg to the sky. On the exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Step the left leg all the way through. You can help it if you need to. Right knee to the this floor. As you inhale, lift your low lunge, ribs up towards your chest, your spine, and pelvis tucks right under on the right side this time. 
Now, bring your hands on the inside of your foot. Perhaps you take your left foot out to the side slightly. Back in our low lunge position. Now, hands move to your right hand side. Create a lovely diagonal in the body. Now, take the left arm to the sky this time. Slow and steady movements. Use your hands for that little bit of support if you need to. Right arm lifts. Couple more times like that. Right hand down, left hand down. As you inhale, we lift. Coming down, no, no need to rush it. Last one. The inhale lifts, left arm lifts, the right arm lifts. Okay, come all the way back down. All the way back through to centre. We're going to step our left leg back, come into a plank. Again, let's release knees, chest, chin to the ground, elbows hug tight. The inhale is a baby cobra as the chest lifts. Squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your bum. Exhale back to your down dog. Breathing in your down facing dog. Full inhale through the nose and full exhales. Breathing. From here, just slowly start to walk your feet to the top of your mat. You're going to come into our ragdoll position, so feet about hip-width apart. Clasping your elbows, you can sway one way, the other way, just whatever feels nice for your body right now. And then from here, you're just going to start to release all the way down to the mat. As you walk the toes to touch, you're going to squeeze the inner thighs, ripple yourself all the way up to standing. As you inhale, lift the arms above your head. As you exhale, bring your breath back to your heart center. And just feeling your grounding in Atadasana here, so... Thinking it, feeling your tripod of your feet. So big toe mound, little toe mound, heels of the feet grounding into the floor. As you breathe, you squeeze your inner thighs. Can you check back into your happy place? Where did that take you? Breathe. And when your next inhale comes, lift the arms all the way towards the sky. On the exhale, forward fold, push your hips to the back of the room. As you inhale, halfway lift, so straighten your spine. As you step back, plank position, you can take your knees, chest, chin to baby cobra, which we practice. Otherwise, take your half push up. You can always have your knees on the floor here. As we float over the toes, we come into our up dog, still squeezing the bum, squeeze the shoulders. As you exhale, we come back down to our downward facing dog. We breathe, full inhales through the nose, and full exhales. So nice team. We're going to start to work into our main sequence now. So just give yourself a chance to learn it. Take it at your own pace whenever you need to. All good. When your next inhale comes, take your right leg to the sky. On the exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Like we did before, step it to the top of your mat. This time we're going to come into a high lunge. So as you inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Now, you have the option to take your left knee back down to the ground as we did before. Otherwise, we're going to play with that kind of diagonal position whilst we're standing. It's going to make it a little bit trickier. So from here, bring your hands on the inside. Right foot steps to the right hand side a little bit more. Now, option either take your knee down or keep it lifted. Now, hands walk to the left hand side. You're going to make sure that your right knee points out to the right hand side to stabilize your pelvis here. From here. Take it nice and slow and steady. Right arm lifts. Now left arm lifts. It's going to be slightly more challenging if your knees off of the ground. Bear with it. Left pelvis sucks under. We're going to take that two more times. So slowly down. Left hand down. Right hand down. Big, beautiful rainbow of the body. Super nice. Open up the front side. Last time. Exhale down. Last one lifts. You're going to inhale lift. And then stay here this time. Good gang. From here, you're going to see if you can start to bend the back knee as you straighten through the front leg. Come into a reverse lunge position. So super weird. You can wobble, you can flail the arms as much as you need to. Can you bring that back knee to almost touch the ground? I'm cheating by using my radiator. Really helps to have that toe towards your nose wobbling as you need to. From here, bring your prayer to your heart center. This time, you're just going to bend the front knee. We're back in a lunge position. Now, from here, we're going to work our way into a warrior three. So, parallel through the chest. Now, slowly start to step all the way through. See if you can come to balance here. I've got lots of truth in my face. <laughs> Don't know about you guys. Chest is slightly lifted. Lots of, left, lots of energy through the left heel towards the back of the room. Now, bring your left heel to your bum. Bring yourself to standing. Wobbles are always very, very welcome. That's how our body learns, so it's a good thing, I promise you. 
Okay, from here, funky little movement coming up. Let's slowly start to straighten through our left leg. I'm going to try and bring ourselves to the floor as slowly as possible. It's kind of a single leg squat, but I'm just not really telling you that. So use your hands whenever you need to. You can always use your blocks here as well. So we're going to slowly lower down just as far as you can go. And just use your hands. Don't overthink it. All good. Now the right knee will be bent. The left leg will be straight. I'm going to take the left arm all the way up and over behind you. And we're going to work into our wild thing. So lift the hips. Reach the right arm to the sky. Now just make sure your inner elbow is pointing towards your fingers. Externally rotate the shoulder to stabilize it. Reach. Squeeze your bum. Lift the hips. Now, another funky movement coming up. We're going to see if we can take our right foot to where our left hand is. Yoga twist the time. So, right foot to left hand. Take it all the time you need. Come slowly to the back of your mat. So we're back in our back of our mat now. Reach right arm to the sky. So nice, guys. Breathe. And you guys are doing so, so well over there. Full inhales through the nose. And full exhales. Very nice. From here, start to face your right foot to the left hand side. We're in a low squat or a skandasana. Use your hands as much as you need to. Now, start to squeeze the inner thighs. If the left knee bends, you come to the top of the mat. Face the front of the room. Step back into your plank. You can take your vinyasa. So that's knees, chest, chin to baby cobra. Otherwise, you're coming through your half push up position as we float over the toes. We're in our up dog. Squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your bum. Exhale back into your downward facing dog. Breathe, guys. So nice. Okay, let's start working our way onto the other side now. So as you take your next inhale, left leg will lift this time. Now, left knee to nose. Bring it to the top of your mat. Help it where you need. As we inhale, we lift to our high lunge. And then you're going to take your hands on the inside of the feet. Remember that left leg comes a little bit out to the side. Really track that left knee outwards. Stabilize through the pelvis. You can place your knee on the ground. Leave it lifted. Lifting is going to be a little bit more tricky. Take your hands to the right hand side of your mat. On the inhale, lift the left arm up this side. Slowly stabilize yourself as we come up to standing. Good. A couple more times. So you down, right hand down, left hand down. Inhale, lifting. Whew. Wobbles very welcome along the way. I'm wobbling too slowly. One down. And lift. Okay, from here, stay with that balance. Right knee bends, straighten the front leg. Can you ninja yourself here? I feel super weird because I'm not used to doing it. Good, can you bring that back knee almost to the ground? Or if you're wobbling, I am too. Eventually, you're going to see if you can bring your prayer to your heart center. Woo! Bend the knee. Come into your high lunge one more time. Now, parallel through the chest. Come into your warrior three. So let right heel all the way towards the back of the room. Stabilize your socket, chest slightly lifted. Work that back body. As you bring your right heel to your bum, we're going to bring the right knee all the way towards the chest. Breathing here. Everyone's favorite little single leg squat time. From here, right leg uh, is in front of you. Again, you slowly take it as slowly as you can to bring yourself all the way to the ground. Whenever you need to, you put your hands down, okay? Just give yourself time to learn that. Right leg is straight, left knee is bent. Let's take the right arm all the way up and over. Now, lift the hips, come into your wild face. So the left arm reaches, squeeze your bum, drive all that energy through the back body. Inner elbows pointing towards your fingers. Let's stabilize here, breathe. Yoga twist to the clock, take left foot to your right hand, slow as you can. Oh, very nice, you made it guys. Left arm lifts, breathe. Now from here, face towards your right side to side. We're in that skandasana position. Now from here, work your way to the top of the mat, right knee will bend, you have your hands on the floor, wherever you need them to be. Now from here, face the front of the room, step back into your plank position. Again, you can take a vinyasa. You don't always have to take it, just take it at your own pace. Breathe, step back into your down dog. Breathe here. Full inhales through the nose. And full exhales.
From here, we're going to take a little baby bunny hop. So, walk your feet about a third of the way down the mat. On the inhale, bend the knees. On the exhale, shoot your hips over your shoulders. Don't worry if they're not super high. You're going to take five or six like that. Slow and steady. The main thing is actually you controlling the landing. landing. So land nice and softly like a fairy, not like an elephant. Just a couple more. Keep jumping. On the last one, you're going to jump all the way through to the top of your mat. Let's come into a little malasana here. Beautiful gang. Well done. Breathe. And then just come all the way onto your back. Thank goodness. <laughs> the laying down part. We've done all the hard work. Just close your eyes down. Give yourself a nice big hug. Knees to your chest. See all your effort on your mat today. Well done, team. From here, just bring your right ankle over your left knee. Then we're going to come into a figure four stretch. Just take your hands on the inside between the thighs. Keep your right foot flexed and just close your eyes down. Right knee out to the side. You slowly work into your glutes as we breathe and soften down. And from there, just bring your right knee towards your chest, left leg extends in front of you. Now from here, your right knee will come over to your left hand side as you gaze towards your right hand side. You're gonna think about your shoulder being on the mat rather than necessarily getting this opposite knee on the mat. And breathe, just helping to create space in your lungs, around your chest, and breathing into the space here. Full inhales through the nose and full exhales. And from here, we're going to take a nice opening of the shoulders. So take your right hand down towards your left ankle, towards your right knee, and all the way up and over. We're going to take these lovely little circles just a few times over. Inhaling, lift the arms. Exhale, comes to the bottom of your circle. You can take whatever pace you need to see if you can match it with your breath. So as you inhale, we lift. As you exhale, we circle down. Just take one more like that, inhaling to lift and exhaling to circle down. Super nice team, let's come back through to center and we'll kick it all on the other side. So left knee towards your chest first, ankle over the knees, you reach through to your thigh, flexing the foot, just breathe and soften into our figure four stretch for now. Giving our hips and our glutes a little bit of love. And from here, left knee, extend, left knee comes towards your chest, right leg extends, left knee to the right hand side, as you gaze towards your left hand side again, shoulder softens down to the mat, don't worry too much about the opposite knee, but really starting to breathe space around the lung tissues, beautiful area, all into the side body, slowing things down, we're going to take our big circle, so left hand towards the right foot, left knee, inhale to lift, and exhale down, inhaling to lift, that nice 360 of the ball and socket of the shoulder, flex a lot of hips, let's work into the shoulders a little bit, inhaling to lift, and exhaling down, and, from here. and then from here just come back through to centre, hug your knees towards your chest, big squeeze of the knees, just take any last wiggles and movements before setting up for your final relaxation, which will be our Shavasana. So when you're ready, there's no rush to get there. Legs down in front of you, palms face towards the sky, and just closing your eyes down. From here, you're going to take a deep inhale through the nose. Big sigh out through the mouth, exhaling. One more time like that, deep inhale through the nose. Big sigh out through the mouth, exhaling, just releasing anything you don't need. Allow your mind and body to be still whilst you're here, just relaxing in your Shavasana after share some final thoughts on our theme today. So just as you rest in your final relaxation, I'll share another few words with you about happiness. I found this quote that one of my best friends sent to me, which I thought was super nice to share at this time. It said, today may there be peace within. May you trust you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born in yourself and others. May you use the gifts that you have received and pass on your love that has been given to you. May you be content with yourself just the way you are. 
Let this knowledge settle into your bones and allow your soul the freedom to sing, dance, praise and love. It is there for each and every one of us, knowing that you have whatever you need on the inside already and that happiness is an inside job. So taking your time to fill your cup before you feel anybody else's around you. And as you rest in your final relaxation, can you start to visualize your happy place? And perhaps your happy place is visualizing being with someone, perhaps you can't be with right now, but you will be soon, knowing that that time will come where you can give them a big squeeze. The visualization, perhaps you can see it's coming out into a beautiful world where nature is thriving, the oceans are bluer and crisper than ever before, and humans are enjoying the everyday things in life and knowing how important they are more than ever, ever before. So with that in mind, just take a deep inhale through the nose. Big happy sigh out through the mouth, exhaling. One last time like that, deep inhale through the nose. Big sigh out through the mouth, exhaling. Start to wiggle your fingers, your toes as you roll your head from left to right. Reach your arms over your head, take your biggest stretch of the day all the way to your toes and then hug your knees towards your chest like you're hugging someone you love. And give yourself a little extra squish knowing that happiness is an inside job, it starts with you first. As you rock and roll yourself into a comfortable seated position, just however that is for you, with the eyes still closed. And we'll breathe together one last time, all together as one happy place community. Just take a deep inhale through the nose. Big sigh out through the mouth, exhaling. One more time like that, deep inhale through the nose. Great big happy sigh out through the mouth, exhaling. Bring your prayer to your heart center. Thank you for sharing your practice with us today. Together we say namaste. Namaste guys, thank you so much for practicing with me today. It's been a pleasure teaching you. I hope you're feeling happy and ready to take on the world wherever you are. Um, thank you for flowing with me. I'm Kim Hartwell. You can get in touch with me over on Instagram at Kim Hartwell or Kim at KimHartwell.com. This is with the Vino. Thank you so much for having me at the Happy Place Festival. Have a lovely rest of your festival and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, lots of love.